I love this quote because it it hammers home that all is one. And it does it by saying not only that all is one, but that there is no polarity, no right and wrong, no disharmony, only identity. Now, in third density, that's simply not true. There is polarity. This is the density of polarity. They're from sixth density. And they're from the density of unity. And they have earned the right to say there is no polarity because they have moved to the point where they include both polarities in their thinking processes and it comes out positive. I don't know how it happens. It's going to take me a few densities to learn that. But uh, for those of Ra, this is the way things are. Of course, there's right and wrong in this density. If if we didn't know right from wrong, we'd be in a terrible muddle. If we didn't all drive down the right side of the street, when some of us took their part out of the middle, and some drove on the left, and some drove, well, we just never get anywhere. So, um, obviously, there is right and wrong at, at that level, fundamental level of, of human courtesy and, and protocol, so that everybody can get along and do their thing. Of course there's disharmony in third density. There's disharmony all the time. There's disharmony every time we rub up against each other and it doesn't suit us both. Um, we are in a state from morning until night where we're very vulnerable to being thrown off of our balance and feeling disharmonious. So we know for sure that we're not in the middle of sixth density because this is a place where there is polarity, there is right and wrong, there is disharmony. And it's very difficult to say that there is identity in third density. And yet, the overarching picture, the picture that the Law of One asks us again and again to look at, is that there truly is only identity. I am one with everything I see. I am one with everybody I see. I am one with nature. I am one with myself. And that is an identity. And the identity is through the Creator. It's not person to person. It's Namaste. It's the Creator in me salutes the Creator in you. There is where the identity is. The creator in me is the identity with the creator in everybody else. And if we can remember that when we are talking to somebody else, we're talking to the creator, it will really help us with that identity. Because if we can keep it in mind, then we can be agents of love and light in this world. I certainly hope I am. And I think all of us can be voices of love and voices of light. As the mood takes us, as inspiration takes us, and as our internal tuning shines out through our eyes, we don't have to say a thing. Yet still, the silence is a voice of love. <laughs>